Welcome to Inside Bronco Men's Basketball. I'm Anthony Passarelli with Bronco Men's Basketball Assistant Dustin Kearns. And uh, we go a little bit behind the scenes of the program. Uh, this week we'll talk a little bit about the scheduling. Dustin, heavily involved in scheduling, a year-round job for you. Uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the difficulties as the Broncos in non-conference play schools like Washington State out of the Pac-12, and then we'll play schools like Merced and Pacifica. What are some of the uh, most difficult aspects of, of scheduling? Anthony, scheduling is, is something that you really got to dot your I's and cross your T's. and It takes a lot of organization with Coach Keating and I and myself. We, we talk daily on scheduling. Um, you know, there's so many things to organize it with. One, you think about our team. You always think about yourself first, and you, there's got to be a good balance of home games, good balance of road, but you don't want to travel too far. You have to balance out our women's schedule as well, volleyball, exam <laughs> schedule. There's some concerts here. There's there's concerts at other players, other teams. You know, when, when we're looking to go on road trips is, you know, do we want to recruit that area? Do we want to take a player home, for example? There, there's so many variables that go into scheduling. We also want to play great competition to prepare ourselves for our team. But there's got to be a good balance of that as well. So you're almost working uh, behind. You have to lay out the calendar and see what's left in order to start that process. Every year, Coach Keating and I, we, we, we work on a four-year grid. Um, Coach Keating and I sit down. We, we mark the dates of when our students are going to be here, when our students are going to be gone, um, and we really kind of pick point. We want to play a home game here. We want to play a road here. We, we never want to play three road games in a row, ideally. We haven't done that in the past. Mm -hmm. We want to get us a, a balance of neutral games. Um, obviously, with BYU coming out of the league, that's two less non-conference games. Every year we have the wonderful Cable Car Classic, uh, which is going on its 40, 45th year always right there after December, so that kind of locks in our you know, post-Christmas. But, but every year we kind of, this is what we'd like to have. We'd like to have a local road game. We'd like to have a home game here, and then you got to go find it. Right. And, and, and right now, you know, finding teams that to come to the Levy Center and play um, can be very challenging, especially with a young team that has a great backcourt back that's going to be back, and, and our entire team's going to be back. Um, and then there's all kinds of different games. Uh, we have four-year contracts with teams, uh, which will be two home, two road. We have two-year contracts, which is typically mm -hmm. how it works. But getting a team to start here uh, versus starting on the road is, is very much more challenging. To, to follow up, uh, why is it so difficult to get a marquee name to play Santa Clara non-conference? Anthony, we would love to play a marquee team here. And, and, and I'm not saying that we can't. I'm just going to use Portland as an example of a team in our conference. They play a, a series with Kentucky. It's not technically a series. They got Kentucky to come play in the Rose Garden, which is a neutral game for Kentucky and essentially Portland, mm -hmm. for two trips to Lexington, Kentucky. So it's a two for one, right. two at Kentucky, <laughs> one in the Rose Garden. We've had discussions with, with marquee teams right now and, and simply can't find someone to come play in the Levy Center. Fortunately, Washington State, which is a Pac-12 team, we did a home-and-home -home contract with them. We're getting ready to return to them this week. Um, but when you're talking about the elite, you know, the, the Dukes, the Carolinas, the Kentuckys, the Kansases, playing at the Levy Center is just something that they are not going to do unless we go to their arena at least two to three times for for nothing. You know, we, we're going to pay for that. We're going to go. We're going to travel. Year after year, year, you know, you know that, that's just using Portland as an example of team in our league. Well, not an easy job, but thanks for spending some time with us, Dustin Kearns, Bronco assistant uh, basketball coach. And uh, that's been Inside Bronco Basketball for today.